An example of gratitude in an extreme case like that would be something that I, I thought of recently is, you know, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, uh, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, or whatever, there's no way that I've found that you can say you're thankful for something and allow a negative mindset to still exist. Like it just eradicates it. It's, there, it's, almost like, it's almost like when you physically smile, you can feel your body kind of perk up. It's the same thing. When you start to say you're thankful for something, um, you know, whatever is going on, whatever stress you're under, whatever, whatever pain you're feeling, whatever throwing your hand up moment that you're involved in, it's hard to stay there. Right? I, I would say it's impossible to stay there um, unless you're being sarcastic when you say you're thankful. <laughs> but beyond that, beyond that, uh, it's really, really hard to be truly thankful for a circumstance or situation um, and still remain in a place of being you know, a victim or whatever the case may be. So I wanted to offer a couple of thoughts for when you really are in a place where you're thinking, well, that's great, but what is there to be thankful for right now, right? So let's think of a couple of examples. You might have an argument with your spouse or your significant other or somebody important to you in your life, somebody that you love, somebody that you know you, you want to be with, but right now, boy, they are just just grating on your nerves. Um, you know, they're just being contradictory and, and, you know, bitchy and all that stuff. And, you know, that's kind of, you know, you're just in this place of like, what is there to be thankful for right now? There's nothing to be, I can't just sit here and be, be, be thankful that this person's, you know, ticking me off. Um, so what I would offer is, you know, if this is somebody that you love and I'm going to assume for the purposes of this example that they are an example of gratitude in an extreme case like that would be, to think of it this way, like I'll talk about my wife. My wife is incredible and I, I, I have deep-seated love for her. Um, she's everything to me. Like many of you, your spouse or significant other or brother or sister or whatever is everything to you, somebody that you truly love. She still gets on my nerves often and I get on hers as well. And when she gets on my nerves, I can get into this place of like, you know, just, you know, wanting to go after her or she can do the same with me. But a place you can come from of gratitude would be, Think of it this way. Right now, she could be arguing with another man, right? If she's somebody that you love, or he could be arguing with another woman if it's your, if it's your husband. So what you should be thankful for is while the, while the moment isn't fun and being in conflict isn't great, think about being thankful for the fact that you're the one, you're the one that they're arguing with right now, that this person that you love is arguing with. If it's your kids, the same thing. You know, what if it was somebody else that was their dad or somebody else that was their mom? Like, I mean, as much as you might want to kill them in that moment that you're in right now, at the end of the day, you can be thankful for the fact that this is your kid and they're, they're, they're annoying you. They're not annoying some other dad, right? You're not sitting at home without that person, without your child, without your son or daughter, right? They're there with you. And yes, they're annoying you. But at the end of the day, if you approach it from a place of gratitude, they could be annoying somebody else. That's a way that you can express gratitude even in, the, in you know, some of the more uncomfortable or annoying or frustrating situations that you might be in. Just think of it that way. Um, you know, if something in your house uh, stinks, if something in your house falls apart, um, if something in your house breaks and now you got to pay for that thing, it can be frustrating. And I've done this. We had a furnace go and it was like, man, oh man, I, you know, just as I'm getting a little ahead on some things, the furnace goes, and that's 10 grand now to replace this furnace in this house, in our house. What am I going to do with it? Like, you, know, you can easily get frustrated and down about that. But when you approach it from a place of gratitude, and eventually, eventually I did, not initially, it was like, man, but I can pay for that. It's not ideal. It's not like there's money laying around, but I can pay for that. I can take care of that. How many people would, would not be able to, or that would be something where they need to go into heavy debt or borrow money from somebody or whatever the case may be, just to have heat in their home, right? But for me in that moment, it was a matter of, you know what, I'm so grateful that the furnace broke and I could pay for it. Better to me than somebody else that may not have the means financially or in that moment, that the means in any other way, or an old lady in her home or whatever, to have a broken furnace in the middle of winter. 